An effective approach to generating passive income is through real estate investment trusts, commonly known as REITs. Unlike alternative investment options like the Delaware Statutory Trust, REITs are classified as securities. Consequently, investors allocate their capital to companies responsible for managing portfolios with the potential to receive income in return. Now, let's delve into the mechanics of how REITs generate and distribute profits to investors. This occurs through two primary avenues, rental income and property appreciation. What they are Before delving into how REITs generate income, it's important to provide further details about their structure. Real estate investment trusts emerged in 1960 as a result of legislation that aimed to provide real estate investment opportunities to the middle class population. In the present day, REITs are companies that engage in activities such as purchasing, selling, managing, and financing real estate assets, all to generate income for investors. According to NAREIT, there are four main types of REITs. Equity REITs This type of rate is the most prevalent and is typically traded on public stock exchanges. However, all the aforementioned types grant investors access to diversified portfolios. This is accomplished by offering shares to investors either on public exchanges or privately through registered brokers or representatives. Once capital is pooled, it is invested in various types of properties. The primary advantage of REITs lies in providing investors with an opportunity to invest in real estate portfolios of commercial scale. Mortgage REITs These REITs focus on financing real estate by providing mortgages or purchasing existing mortgages. They generate income through the interest received from these mortgage loans. Public non-listed REITs These REITs are similar to equity REITs but are not traded on public stock exchanges. They are typically available through brokerage firms or financial advisors. Private REITs Private REITs, as the name suggests, are not publicly traded and are usually accessible to institutional investors or high net worth individuals. Regardless of whether they operate publicly or privately, all REITs must adhere to specific regulations, including A minimum of 75% of the total assets must be invested in real estate, cash, or U.S. Treasuries. At least 90% of taxable income must be distributed to shareholders. The rate must have at least 100 shareholders after one year of establishment. A minimum of 75% of the rate's gross income must come from rent, mortgage interest, or real estate sales. These guidelines directly address the question of how REITs generate revenue. How they earn. The rate business model revolves around the acquisition of real estate properties, leasing out the spaces within those assets, and collecting rental payments from tenants. These rents serve as a source of income, which is subsequently distributed to shareholders in the form of dividends. This applies specifically to REITs that specialize in managing real estate assets. Conversely, mortgage REITs, commonly referred to as Mr. EITs, operate differently. Instead of directly owning real estate, they engage in the purchase or origination of mortgages and mortgage-backed securities. As a result, the income generated by Mr. EITs primarily stems from interest payments on these investment instruments. Irrespective of the specific type of rate, successful ones understand the importance of enhancing their value, which can potentially increase investor returns. This is achieved by strategically developing and acquiring assets that generate consistent cash flow. Furthermore, when REITs sell these properties, investors may also benefit from the proceeds generated by such transactions. Investing in REITs in contrast to other forms of property investments, publicly traded REITs provide investors with relatively easier access. These REITs can be accessed directly online or with the assistance of a stockbroker or securities agent. On the other hand, privately traded REITs are typically aimed at accredited investors and can only be obtained through registered broker-dealers. Regardless of the specific rate you choose to invest in, it is crucial to ensure that it aligns with your investment objectives and that you fully comprehend the risks associated with purchasing shares. While REITs do present an opportunity for passive income, conducting thorough due diligence is of utmost importance. We hope you found this video insightful and informative. If you're interested in learning more about enhancing your analysis of a promising real estate deal, be sure to click on the video displayed on your screen. It will provide you with valuable tips and strategies to take your investment game to the next level.
Remember, knowledge and careful evaluation are key when it comes to maximizing your returns in the world of real estate. Happy investing!